Coach, a new segment this year. It's called The Edge. Before we start talking about it, define The Edge for us. Oh, I just love the name, The Edge. It's a great visual. I've used it for many years with our team and staff. And you actually come to the, you know, I actually had a big picture in a team where we come to the edge of the mountain and, you know, do I really want to go there? That looks awful dark, awful hard. And, and so it's where average stop and elite begins. And football, to me, the, is the ultimate selfless sport. And here's what I mean by that. You get exposed if you're selfish. You also get exposed if you're selfless. Every great team, every great team, elite team, they have to share one thing. They're selfless. I've had very many talented teams that were selfish and they didn't reach the same right. pinnacle that a selfless team. So I want to give you examples. So football is a tough, violent, it's a tough sport. Arguably one of the toughest sport out there, maybe the toughest. And football players, the fans quite often don't see the dirty and the hard that goes on. And what, you have to ask yourself, why does that player do the dirty or the hard? Because he's selfless. And if you're not great at it, you lose games. For example, special teams, kickoff. You're running down the field 20 miles an hour, hitting something coming at you 18 miles an hour. You can't tell me that's fun. Why do you do it? You're selfless. Sure. Sure. On defense, you got defensive tackles. You know what their job is? Keep 600 pounds of linemen off the of linebackers. You can't tell me that's fun, but it's right. selfless. And a corner, how about a 170-pound corner coming to hit a 230-pound back or tight end? Again, that's not fun, but it's selfless. And then on offense, two examples, the wide receiver stock block. Right. You need to do that. Receivers don't get paid to do that. You have to do that for your team to win. And then the edge of this week is the running back pass protection. You're asking a running back, a lot of times between the 190 to 210-pound range, Right. He's got to hit, step up and hit a linebacker going full speed that's probably 10 to 20 pounds heavier than him. So the teams with the great edge, you watch at the end of the year, they'll still be standing. Well, let's look at the first example of the edge. You know, Jerry, I used to tell our staff all the time when a great running back takes it 75 yards for a touchdown, that's not great coaching. You know what it is, right? Great recruiting? <laughs> great recruiting. All right, let's take a look at Travion Henderson here. He is the perfect example to start their edge segment. All right, here you go. Watch, watch Trayvon very closely. Great stance. He steps with his right foot. Very important. His body never gets out of torque. Great football position, and bam, hits him right underneath the mouth. Because of what he does, Will Howard's got a great throwing lane. The offense line's in great position. The receiver's got to clear. He doesn't see hands in his face. You know why? Hands are on the ground. So I can't think of a better example to start a segment. And I'd suggest to you, those five big guys that are blocking, when they watch this tape in a film session, they have a lot of respect for Travion. And I don't know much, but I promise you, Coach Day's going to show this thing all year long. That's an excellent job by Travion.